What's up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video and it's another video on the Vivo X Fold 3. Yes, I've made an executive decision and I assumed that you would not be fed up of seeing as much content as possible. So this is my first full day using the Vivo X Fold 3 while answering some of the questions I'm already getting in the comments. Speakers, displays, cameras, video and vlogging capabilities with the Vivo X Fold, Fold devices, you can use the rear cameras. I'm going to get into all of that. Might be a quite long one considering I've only had the phone about 10 hours. So grab your iron brew, your shortbread, let's go. Now before I get into the video, a very very quick plug to Wanda Mobile. Wanda Mobile, as you know, the link is in every video description, they kick back 10 bucks to me for every sale through my affiliate link, so please, if you're purchasing a device from Wanda, just do it through my link, it kicks some cash back to me and supports the channel. But I wanted to highlight this because I ordered the X Fold 3 from Gizstop two weeks ago. Last week, I hate iPhone gestures. I just put up the thumb, the, the peace sign by saying two, and there they go. I ordered the X Fold 3 from Gizstop two weeks ago. A few days ago, I still hadn't heard anything, so I decided to cancel my order and order through Wanda, which is what I should have done in the first place. So on Sunday evening at 7.30 p.m., I checked my email, I ordered the X Fold 3. On Tuesday morning at 10 a.m., a mere 30, 42 hours later, I don't know, you work out the math. Within two days, I had the device in my hand, coming all the way from Hong Kong. Absolutely mind-blowing. Thank you, Wanda Mobile. So that was a quick plug, but mainly a bit of purchasing advice for you. If you are looking to import a device, use Wanda Mobile. They are the quickest and at under £950, the cheapest. I've been using the X Fold 3 all day with my SIM card inside. The first things I want to touch on are software and notifications. Now notifications, I have had to do nothing in terms of battery saving modes, push starting or auto starting notifications and apps, it has all happened by default. I am getting all my notifications on time on the lock screen. The one thing I'm not getting, which is quite common for Chinese ROM devices, is the always on display showing little icons for WhatsApp, Instagram, you know, the little mini icons. Most Chinese ROMs don't do that. However, weirdly, the Redmi K70 Pro does. And it's a Chinese ROM. So again, shout out to Xiaomi. I mentioned in my K70 Pro long-term review yesterday that Chinese ROMs, even though they're the same ROM, some companies just manage to work it differently in the global market. And as you can see, the always-on display icons are on the Xiaomi, Redmi, but not the Vivo. I can get past that though because I am getting my notifications on time. The other area I wanted to touch on, well it's two, the usual. No Android Auto, however there's Jovi CarPlay, that works on your car, it didn't work on my car, but Jovi CarPlay is there, wired or wireless, and smartwatch connectivity. I was kind of holding out hope that my OnePlus Watch 2 would connect with the Oh Health app through the Google Play Store, it didn't. I then tried just using the Wear OS app through the Play Store, it didn't. I then tried the third way, which is downloading the Wear OS app through the native Vivo Store, downloading the Wear OS app through Google Play after you download the Wear OS through Vivo, keep up with me here. Sometimes that works, on this occasion it didn't. So unable to pair my smartwatch with the device. But we kind of know and accept that. We're willing to accept that trade-off for a phone like this for under a thousand pounds. Now let's talk about all of the good stuff I've experienced so far. Firstly, the design, build quality, dimensions. 
This is the world's latest foldable phone. It's also the world's second thinnest foldable phone. Yes, at 10.2 millimeters, it's mind-blowingly thin. However, the V2 is thinner. The one thing I would say though, the Vivo X Fold 3 has a slightly larger outer and inner display. So 0 0.3 millimeters thicker for bigger displays. You know, I, I think we can go tit for tat here. We're splitting hairs. Someone asked in the comments on Instagram actually, by the way, I've never really done this, but if you haven't already followed me on Instagram, here's my handle. Let's try and boost my followers up on there. I post photos and videos and updates fairly regularly, although I should do better. Anyway, one of the Instagram comments was asking how the speakers were. I always tell you and show you how good the speakers are. So here's a sneak peek before my full review at the speakers. And consuming content, using the speakers or Bluetooth 5.4 included, whatever you want to do to consume your content. The 2K Plus resolution inner display is phenomenal. I firmly believe it might be the best display I've seen on a foldable device. Now, I've not dug in deep into the specs of this compared to every other phone. I will do that in future comparison videos. But just on first impressions, using my eyes, the screen just feels super sharp, smooth, fluid, colours pop, and you can change the colours in the settings menu. But there's also just no crease. Like at all. And I know it's a new device and the crease will come as time goes on slightly. But I've, again, been blown away by the lack of crease. So the overall build quality, while not having, you know, water and dust resistance, no phones, foldable phones really do. I think it's IPX4, so it was, believe it or not, it was raining here earlier on when I was out getting some photos and videos. And obviously the phone's going to be absolutely fine in the rain. I wouldn't go taking it to a beach anytime soon. But again, that's the same for all foldable phones. So I now want to touch on the camera system. I was going to talk about performance. I'll save that for the full review. But ultimately, look, elephant in the room. This is not the latest chipset inside. It's the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, not the 8 Gen 3. But I challenge any of you watching this video. In day-to-day -day life, gaming, photography, videography, whatever you do on your phone, I challenge you to tell me what the 8 Gen 3 is and what the 8 Gen 2 is in reality. You would never tell. If I handed you an 8 Gen 2 phone and an 8 Gen 3 phone and just blanked out the model number and all that other stuff, you would never be able to tell. So the fact that Vivo have managed to stick with an 8 Gen 2 to keep the cost down, I'm totally fine with that. And, as you know, I have ordered, it'll be here soon, the Pro model for those that absolutely have to have the latest and greatest chipset. Now, camera-wise, I'm going to touch on a video first. It's important to me to have 4K video recording, particularly on the selfie camera, because I use my phone as my main video. Now, yes, I use iPhone 15 Pro Max, but at some point, I would maybe like to go full Android or at least have the option. And while the S24 Ultra is fantastic, I'm a big foldable phone fan. And front facing selfie camera, as we know, 1080p. But Vivo did push out an update to make it 4K on the X100 Pro. So let's see if they do the same. But HD's totally fine. I'm interested to know how the microphones sound. And of course, it's a foldable phone. So you can use the outer cover display as your viewfinder and keep the 4K or 8K selfie video recording on the back. 
comes in clutch. Again, how do the mic sound? So there was some footage from the selfie 1080p camera and then the rear 4K. Hopefully you can tell the difference. One thing I want to highlight, and I didn't know this until I came to the editing suite and started doing stuff in Final Cut Pro, the microphones. It might just be me being biased, but I've recorded a lot of footage on phones. And the Vivo X43 might have the best microphones I've maybe experienced. Again, go back and listen to the audio on those videos. That wasn't an external microphone. That was the inbuilt microphones on the device. Super impressed, both from the front. And remember, I used this here. So all front facing. Yeah, super impressed with that. And just to wrap up, again, questions I always get about the, the software and a Chinese ROM. The Google Play Store is pre-installed by Wanda, but you can just simply go to the native Vivo App Store if you've factory reset the phone for whatever reason. Native Vivo App Store, search Google Play Store and it's there. You download it, that's it. Start downloading your apps. And as you can see here, all my Google Apps. Everything works just as normal. As I said already, notifications come through on time. The Play Store is the normal Play Store. Chinese ROM, global ROMs, phones, they all basically emanate from China. So people also ask me about, is it safe to have a Chinese ROM? Yes, the global ROM was created in the same place the Chinese ROM was. Your iPhone was created in the same place the Vivo was. So yes, it's completely safe. I'm not poo-pooing the um, thoughtfulness when it comes to security and privacy, but um, Chinese phones get a bad rap for this. They're completely safe. If anything, they actually go above and beyond for security and privacy features. And I will do a full comparison between the X Fold 3 and the X Fold 3 Pro, but one thing that is different on the X Fold 3 is the biometrics. And again, this is just my opinion. This is just my experience. I prefer a side-mounted fingerprint reader to an in-screen fingerprint reader. I know I might be in the minority here, but the X Fold 3 comes with a side-mounted fingerprint sensor that works 100% of the time. It also has face unlock, pattern and pin. The X Fold 3 Pro comes with under display fingerprint sensors on the outer and inner screen. Again, a small thing, but not having to use your greasy thumbs or fingers to unlock your phone means less wipage needed. Wipage. Probably a word. So if you can't tell already, my first full day with the Vivo X Fold 3 has been super positive. I have promised to create as much content about this phone as possible because I know you want to hear it and there's really nothing out there. A lot of people have been saying I'm the first English speaking reviewer to have the phone and, and that's all great. But I wish there was more. I wish I could go onto YouTube and do some more research and get to know more about the phone before having to create a video for thousands of people. But there's just not. So I've had to scratch up on my Mandarin and Cantonese and watch all of those hardcore rave infused unboxing videos. Anyway, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be posting daily content on this fabulous X Fold 3. And until tomorrow, <laughs>